Good evening guys, F4H Rosso here with another GT Sport video. And first things first, just a quick, basically, apology. Um, I know I've not been around very much recently. For those of you that watch my stream, you'll already know uh, a lot of uh, extenuating circumstances with, with different things, moving house at the moment, working lots of hours. But hopefully now, all that's behind us and we're back making the videos regularly. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for coming back to watch another video. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. And so today we are taking on the Nations Cup. It's on our usual Great Britain account. So no fight to the front. We are legitimately trying to win this one from the front. Nations Cup today is on Interlagos Group 4. And we have opted for Nissan's GTR. Seems pretty decent around Interlagos to be honest. And I kind of wanted to jump at the chance of using the GTR since it's not been very competitive uh, in previous videos since it's nerfed quite early into the game so looking forward to going back to an old faithful I call that I have a lot of uh, good memories of using quite early on. Qualified second for this race the uh, Greek in front pipped us right at the very end by just shy of two tenths of a second and the Italian behind us was four thousandths just behind me so it's going to be a good one this uh, I know I've said this on a few videos before, but this race is probably the best I've had on GT Sport so far. Absolute insane action, so definitely do not go anywhere. So here we go, standard six and a half minutes of FIA intro skipped and we are starting the race. Right behind the Greek in first in the Jaguar F-Type, we've got the sister GTR behind us. We break down into the centre assets for the first time. That GTR tries a bit of a lunge, but we shut that door very firmly in his face. Got a decent run out of the bottom of the centre assets. Basically trying to focus on looking forwards rather than being distracted by the uh, Italian and his lunges from behind. Going to have quite a few run-ins with the Catalyst in third throughout this race. Uh, a very, very, very good battle with both him and the left like I have 52, who's in front of us. Both extremely uh, quick racers, as you can tell by the qualifying times. Basically, a blink splitting the three of us at the head of the field, and uh, a fair few behind us with good pace too. A little bit of a train forming behind us, as you can see in the mirrors approach the end of the first lap. I'm going to have a little look down the inside of the Greek. It's going to give me plenty of room just on the inside there. So we're going to go side by side. As we fly through the sweeping left-hander at Junkau, I think it's called. Approaching the final corner. Little love tap from me. We're going to get away with the penalty there. The penalty system in this race plays quite a uh, pivotal role, as you can tell by the title of the video. We get away with it there a bit, penalties a bit harsh in GT Sport at the moment, a bone of contention, quite a hot talking point, but we'll get to that later as we are shadowing the Greek down into turn one, basically your bread and butter passing position on Interlagos down into the centre S's, the GTR flies down our right side as we're setting up a move on the inside of the Greek, but we can't make it stick, he's uh, defended quite well basically give us nowhere to go on the exit to try and attack him. But we've got a good run down the hill anyway, so we're going to look down the inside again into the sweeping left at the Skido de Largo. But again, can't quite make the move stick. The F-Type seems to have quite good traction from the corners despite the GTR's four-wheel drive. You'd expect uh, expect me to be able to make a decent uh, decent exit and get on the power earlier, but the uh, the Greek and the in the F-Type driving pretty well so far, keeping it nice and neat and tidy and not really giving me much to uh, to go on. I've uh, had a couple of sniffs so far, a couple of little half chances, half moves. Maybe our best chance was down into the centre S's at the start of this lap, but couldn't quite make the move stick. He defended well. We're still shadowing him. Again, the field still quite closely bunched together, as you'd expect. It's only, you know... The, uh, the end of lap two, but uh, got to kind of keep one eye behind us. The Italian behind is actually closer than we are to the car in front. I know the rear view mirror kind of gives you a bit of a, a skewed view, 
of the uh, the cars behind. They seem a lot further back. If you look in the mirror, it seems like he's a lot further back than uh, you know the the gap to the car in front. But he's actually closer. It's a weird uh, kind of optical illusion. So we're looking at the Greek in front, and the Italian comes from absolutely nowhere and sinks one down the inside of us into turn one. Solid move. We'll give him that. We'll give him some uh, some props for that one. So what we'll do in this situation, I think we'll just sit. We've had a couple of uh, half chances at passing the Greek, but we'll give the uh, Italian a bit of a chance. We'll just uh, cruise along in third. As we break a bit deep, deceptively tricky left-hander at the end of the first sector. Quite difficult, that one, because if you get it wrong, the track kind of falls away from you, so you're trying desperately to turn back into the left, but the car just doesn't want to have any of it. It wants you out on that green Astro on the outside. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, pretty deceptively tricky corner that as we go through the middle sector. We've got the Evo now sniffing around behind us, so we kind of need this Italian to get something done nice and quickly, so that we don't uh, fall foul of the group behind. And he does have a little bit of a look up the inside, kind of mirroring the move that we tried on the Greek in the, uh, the you know, the opening stages of the race. But he's not going to get that one done either. So it's not just us that failed to make that one stick. We're going to get a good exit out of the final corner. We're all insanely tightly bunched up. I mean, I'm only half a second behind the leader. And we've got a car in between us. So insanely close. And again, half a second gap to the Evo behind us. Having a quick cursory glance behind just to make sure that we're not under any sort of pressure. I think the Evo's got his own, uh, own pressure to deal with. I know for certain this GTR is going to have a go down the inside here, but again, the Greek good on the brakes, but the GTR sunk it up the inside. We're going to have a cheeky move up the inside too, and so is the Evo. The Evo has managed to make one stick around the outside as well. So basically, the F-Type has just been absolutely mugged. He's lost three positions in one corner. I think the Evo probably gets a penalty for that, though. He was definitely wide on the outside of the center S's. But the plan's kind of semi-worked. We're through. We're past the... Uh, the leader who's dropped down the order a little bit and Catalyst has just gone a little bit wide there which again could be a penalty so we're in a good position here we've made the position that we wanted to make we've uh, got the F-Type out of the way it's like for like now, it's GTR versus GTR in the battle and you know, with him potentially facing a penalty we've just got to be quite clever here we've just got to stick onto his gearbox see what we can do not make any sort of rash manoeuvres or silly mistakes or anything like that. Made a few silly mistakes in races very recently. A few in the IGTC the other evening and the Super GT race. And a few uh, on stream the other night and the, uh, the Tokyo races. So one thing I'm uh, definitely keen to improve on at the moment is uh, just cutting out those little errors that I've been making in races recently that have cost me, uh, cost me quite what I would say is quite straightforward, uh, decent results and wins, just by my own uh, by my own mistakes. But uh, I've been playing, I've managed to play GT Sport a little bit more recently after basically having the best part of a month off as we shadow the Italian down into turn one. He's gone a little bit wide, so we're going to have a look and try and perform the, uh, the flip flop, the switch back. Again, a little bit wide on the exit of the center S's, but he's managed to keep it composed. We're going to get a good run. But I think we're going to find it very, very difficult to pass him down into this left-hander. We're going to give it a go anyway. If anything, just to try and unsettle him. Make sure he doesn't get the ideal line through Skiro de Largo. And it has worked. We've made it up the inside. So, brave move. We made it happen, despite the fact that uh, you know we're in the same cars. We just gave him a choice to make, basically, on whether he wanted to, uh, to come across try and squeeze us but he's raced very fairly so far the Italian what I've found basically playing racing games over the last 10 years is uh, southern Europeans tend to be quite fiery drivers so I doubt he'll take it lying down that's for certain just something about the uh, Italians Spanish uh, Portuguese etc etc they seem to be uh, drivers that race with their emotions so I definitely think we've got a good battle to come in this one still. But we're back in the lead. Well, I say back in the lead. We've just taken the lead for the first time. 
forgetting that we weren't leading at the very start. We were basically at the start, at the head of qualifying, right the way until the very end when the uh, the group pipped us for pole. So we've definitely got the pace to be up there. Again, nice and late on the brakes into the centre S's, but the Italian's just going to sink that move down the inside again. He's dynamite on the brakes into that first sector. We just can't deal with his braking down there. Maybe he has some sort of uh, secret brake balance setting that I'm not aware of. But he seems to be so good on the brakes down into those center S's. Able to brake supremely late and keep it nice and clean on the inside of the center S's. But he's done really well with his moves down into there so far. A couple that have got him back up into the lead. So, again, we're chasing him down. Back where we were two laps ago, shadowing him through the middle sector, just trying to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Again, bearing in mind that he most likely has a penalty from his off-track excursion on the exit of the Skido Largo. We've just got to drive a, a tactical race, really. I mean, if the opportunity presents itself, we will go for a move, as we've already seen. It's about kind of taking a measured approach to this one. We are approaching the pit stop window. We could pit this lap, uh, but uh, to be honest, you want you want to you want to basically go straight halfway. Make sure you've got decent rubber for both uh, both halves of the race, particularly as we're basically in a fight for the lead at the moment. So you don't want to give give anyone the opportunity to uh, you know strategically outthink you or anything like that so we'll just mirror what the Italian does rather than uh, try anything silly again bearing in mind he has the penalty or potentially has the penalty etc uh, we don't we don't need to make any sort of strategic bold strategical calls or anything like that a little bit wide again into the tricky left hander falls away from you on the exit but we're still remaining within a second. We're close to the catalyst ahead, who's driven supremely well so far. Definitely got a lot of pace. And nice to see, as I said at the start of the video, a few GTRs in the race. A car that's kind of been neglected ever since it got nerfed into oblivion early doors. For those of you that don't know or didn't play GT Sport at the beginning or in beta phase, this car was an absolute weapon at the start of Group 4. Think of the Group 4... Uh, the horror days of the Group 4 Megane, absolutely dominating. Uh, the GTR was kind of, in a way, worse. It was so strong. It was not only quick, but also its four-wheel drive, amazing out of the corners. It's quite easy to drive. So, you know, you've got that nailed on consistency. It's basically impossible to spin it, but it was also insanely fast. So, it was basically use the GTR or get spanked. So... But we're going to go into the pits, shadow the catalyst into the pits. A quick switch onto the racing hard tyres as we watch the GT Sport pit crew in action. Hopefully no one's got their leg in front of my rear tyre, we don't want any Kimi Raikkonen incidents occurring. And just a quick hit of the X button at that little diamond to signify that we are good to the end on fuel and if you look in the rearview mirror that's our friend the catalyst so we've managed to jump him in the pits by a, uh, a Nats whisker the skin of our teeth we are back in what is the de facto lead essentially so if you guys haven't pitted so far we are in seventh on track but uh, when those guys pit at the end of this lap that should give us the uh, the lead back. We've just got to hold it at this point. Not sure what the status of the catalyst penalties or anything like that. I don't know if he's worn it away. I don't know uh, if, he's, if he's managed to get rid of it. As we break a little bit early into that double right hander, just uh, kind of the extra grip from the fresh rubber taking us by surprise just a little bit, taking us half a lap or so just to get back up to speed. It's very uh, because the, because tire you know the tires go away over the course of the seven laps and you don't really feel a severe drop 
in, in grip it just gets progressively worse so you just you know progressively deal with it if that makes any sense whereas when you get a, a burst of you know grip back with the fresh rubber it's sometimes really weird like kind of semi difficult to uh, to you know pick up the pace immediately because you, it takes you by surprise if that makes any sense whatsoever it does to me uh, but uh, crossing the line to start lap nine and we've got the top six pitted so we're going to see how this shakes out just taking a little bit of grass on the inside of the center S's just escaping uh, a penalty there but by the looks of things we are in the lead on the road the Greek has uh, returned in third position but we're under threat from behind hard on the brakes and uh, the Italian up the inside just clips us just ever so slightly we go a little bit wide but he's made the move stick unfortunately I think we've both been lumbered with a penalty for that one which is uh, you know going back to what I said early, uh, earlier on in the video that the penalty system at the moment just it's just too strict I mean there was absolutely nothing in that move it was hard racing it was fair no one involved deserved a penalty it's a difficult move to make I didn't feel particularly aggrieved by the fact that we've made contact we both stayed on the road you know it was door to door kind of not even a touring car block pass it was literally just a tiny tap and we've both come away from from that with a penalty which kind of not only is it frustrating to have a penalty but it also threatens to ruin the entire race for both of us who don't deserve it in, in my opinion I mean a penalty system is good um, it's better than no penalty system but it's at the moment just too strict it, it really is but anyway we're gonna have a look down the inside into the center S's see if we can make a move on the Italian who just cuts across the nose just ever so slightly defending well but we're gonna go again for the flip-flop around the outside going to be difficult to position uh, our car well here to the point where it's, yeah we're probably on a hide into nothing at this stage someone's knocked the marker board down as well which doesn't help but he's got a bit wide defending so I'm going to try and nip back up the inside doesn't happen though he's hard on the power and uh, already escaping us but as you notice in the rearview mirror while well, we've been having this little scrap our friend in the F type has decided to join the party so all of a sudden this has gone from a Nissan GTR one make one two to a three-way battle for the lead now the catalyst just making a little bit of a mistake through the middle sectors allowed for us to nip through back into the lead again so lead change number 4500 of the race and we're back fighting at the front with a one second penalty to burn but almost a one second lead so at this point I'm thinking to myself let's get the head down let's see what we can do to try and build a gap see if we can get some quality laps done with the kind of semi fresh rubber on board so we're going to try and lie around this lap and I'm going to shut up for this one so you can just see basically uh, me putting the hammer down and trying to set a quality lap on into Lagos
So there you have it, mission accomplished. We've set a uh, blistering fastest lap, fastest lap of the race, 138.6, to get that gap up to just above one second. So everything's going to plan right now. We've uh, got ourselves a healthy-ish lead out of penalty range. I think battle for second is raging behind us, so hopefully they're going to trip over each other a little bit, and they have. The, uh, the Greek has just overtaken the Italian at the start of the lap. But as you've seen with uh, our little battle with the Catalyst, he's uh, definitely not going to take that one lying down. There's absolutely no way that that battle is over. But we've basically just got to focus on our own race at this point. We've got to try and make sure that we don't make any sort of uh, silly errors, which have been creeping into uh, my racing a little bit so far recently. Just a little bit deep into that right hand though we're losing a little bit of time through that middle sector unfortunately as we head down to the final sector of the lap kiss the apex nicely on the power nice and early the gtr is so forgiving uh, on the power we've lost a lot of time through that sector just by uh, just being a little bit late uh, on the brakes in a few few areas, a little bit late on the power coming out of that final hairpin, and all of a sudden we're back in the clutches again of uh, the guys behind us, the Italian again retaking second uh, from the Greek just behind. So batting down the hatches because this is going to be a grandstand finish. Two laps to go. So we break hard just after that 100 meter board, just avoiding the grass on the outside touch that grass on the outside and it's a one-way ticket to those outside barriers the Italian closing the gap ever so slightly through the center S's despite us taking it quite well so he's obviously uh, a man on a mission as we break hard where the marker board used to be luckily a little bit of a shadow there kiss the apex on the inside a little bit squirrely on the exit again losing a little bit of time just eaten into the gap ever so slightly bit of a mistake into the double right hand as well too early on the brakes and once again the Italian creeps up just making uncharacteristic errors again bit of a mistake through the right hander and he's basically right back behind so all the good work we did hooking up that lap in the middle of the race for the fastest lap has been undone by one scruffy lap or one and a half scruffy laps and he's right behind us once more he's right behind us at basically the worst possible time that we uh, we could possibly have someone up behind us <laughs> it's the worst way of phrasing it ever but he's there and that's all that matters it doesn't matter that I can't talk he's within uh, four seconds which is uh, slipstream range no DRS in GT Sport safe from that gimmick but is the Italian going to have a dive up into the centre S's of course he is of course he is but we're going to squeeze the apex into the inside he's not quite close enough to make that move work and he knows it so he uh, quite rightly comes out of the throttle the Greek seems to have dropped behind just a little bit we're going to cover the inside here we need to Got to show him the long way around, just having a quick look to our right just to make sure that we're giving him enough room. Hard on the brakes, just release a little bit. And basically we've given him no way of getting around us there. We took the corner nicely around the inside line. There's absolutely no way he's getting around the outside there and that's given us a bit of breathing space to hopefully, hopefully take this one home. Again, hard down onto the brakes, second gear, kiss the apex on the inside. We're just basically trying to make sure we don't give him any sort of opportunity to make a move on us. He's close again, so we're going to have to go defensive. He's looking at that inside line. We're not going to give him the opportunity. No sort of Daniel Ricciardo dry, uh, dives or anything like that. Make sure it's not a possibility as we head into the final corner. One last opportunity for him but he's not going to be able to take it we accelerate hard and that is going to be, can you believe our first Nations Cup win only been playing the game now for uh, for six months but that's the first time I've actually number one been able to do a Nations Cup race uh, on, on the British account but we've made it work break a little bit before the line trying to bleed the penalty 
but uh, the guys behind me also had penalties anyway, so no big deal on that one. I thought I'd made a bit of a mistake trying to bleed it then at the end. But thankfully, we come away with the win, the Italian in third, which is unfortunate. I don't feel like he deserved, uh, deserved to be knocked down to third position. Those four seconds of penalties seems, uh, seems extremely harsh to me, that one. But an absolutely unbelievable race. Respectful, fair, unfortunately just slightly marred by the penalty system. So there we have it guys, victory on our return back to videos on YouTube. What better way to come back? So we pull into Park Ferme, victorious, you can taste the champagne already. Once again, thank you everyone ever so much for watching. It's great to be back and I will see you all very soon for another video.